Hello everybody, this is Tan Tan here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a brand new Transformers Studio Series figures to show you. So as for the announcement of the Wave 2 Studio Series figures, today here we have the Deluxe Class Shakticon Gnaw from the movie Transformer 86. And I know that he got, has been released in the recent years alongside with the Quintesson pack, but this is like a Deluxe Class and I mean like he is a better figure. So let's begin. So here we have Gnaw in his Shakticon mode and I must say that I really enjoy his proportion design of him. He just make me feel like really into the characters. Like you got that creepiness, that junkiness of the design. And what highlight this figure in this mode must be the eyes of him. Just look at those eyes. They are made from like, I would say like a emirat or like a metallic gem colors and it just highlight the figures, it just make the figure looks like an actual animals and I really enjoy this aspect. Other than that, the next thing I want to tell, talk about is will be the teeth. The teeth looks really nice and in place here and you can display the teeth in two forms. One is like this and one is like you slightly put the slower, lower jaw inwards like that, so like fully closed. And I must say that this is a really nice design of it for the teeth. Other than that, at this mode, unfortunately, you can see the robot head. But if you close the lower jaw, you, you can see it as a tongue. It depends how you see it. And along that, you got some red highlight here and there alongside with those pink and gray purple. Then you got the arm for the shark. And there's also a really nice arm here, the hands are sculpted in really nice but that unfortunately there's no articulation but I mean like you cannot ask for that at this mode over here the arms can rotate around like that and yeah it's just like that and moving back down to the back section and I must say that this is a really clean animal mode if I must compare to Alicorn then, then you know that Alicorn is a completely disaster of a, a beast mode transformation this guy handles things so much better and along with the back, you got like a tons of details printed in that glossy black gray finish. And I really enjoy that. And of course you can still see that is that is the leg, but I mean like that is really flat and it just cover up the whole thing. And moving down to the leg of this mode, and essentially this is the arm for the robot mode. But I mean like this is a really clean look for a leg and I absolutely enjoy this. I mean like this this guy is really nice. And last but not least, here we have the tail, and this is actually a weapon. So this is the mace over here, and it can rotate around, and you got some hinge. And one more thing will be the weapon storage at this mode, so I'm gonna bring in his other accessories, which is the gun. And I must say that for a figure like him, he got a really nice gun. I enjoy this gun of him, and that is really nice. And it's the same color as the arms and the face, so you can plug it via this pin onto the magazine on here. I mean this is a really nice weapon storage over here. I enjoy this weapon storage function. So I'm gonna compare this guy next to Alicon because this is the two beast mode I have uh, available for the 86 line. So you can see the Shakticon Gnaw has really improved upon the design and the transforming mechanism. As for Alicon over here you can still see the robot arms over here but for Shakticon this is a really clean keyboardless transformation and one thing that I like about these two figures will be the teeth of them as for Shakticon if you look at the upper jaw you can see like this is like two layers of teeth and for Alicon we have the same over here on the lower jaw this, we also have two layers of teeth but one thing about Alicon is that they got painted so through times they got paint trip but to be honest I really hope that that do not happen in with Gnaw here because I really enjoy the metallic silver paint for his teeth over here. So now for some other size comparison, I'm gonna bring in my Kingdom tracks. And also spoiler alert, he's gonna be in the next review. So now I think it's time for us to get to transformation.
Finishing transforming Gnaw, I must say that this is a fairly interesting transformation. I didn't expect him to be that straightforward and to be honest, nice when I first saw him, when I first saw his image. To be honest with you, I really enjoyed this transformation of him. It is simple yet effective and as a result, you got a really nice chubby robot mode. For most of the case, I would not say a chubby robot is good, but for Gnaw here, I absolutely enjoy this aesthetic of him. To me, this is a really good interpretation of the character from the movie and now let's get to his details I mean first up is a face sculpt and I must say this is a fairly decent face sculpt for a chubby bot and there's nothing too much to say except for that his eyes are not in any colors they are really hard to see because like these are hollows and you got a some small yellow piece inside so to me this is like he's blind or something other than that his head sculpt is excellent I really enjoy this and if you look closer at the mouth here you see a lot of details in the details that will comprehend for the robot mode i really enjoyed this and moving on to the bodies of him i must say this is like a really a plenty of details for a pale white torso section and that is really really interesting for me but if you turn him around to the back you can see that the mostly of the back section of the beast mode has been moved away but you still got result with the two mini alternate mode arms but to me that is fine that I can live with that that is not a really big deal for me because like if you display him up front then you will like barely see them anywhere and of course moving down to the arms and this is essentially still the same alternate with the beast mode leg so yeah it is the same except for that you got the purple hands out but the nice thing for me down here will be the leg I'm really surprised by just how neat the leg got folded in and now they transform into a really nice leg that looks like wearing a boot that is really interesting that is like he's actually wearing a pair of boots over here and I think that comprehends the looks of him as a mid medieval knight or something and so now I think it's time for to bring in our other friends the Alicorn to compare so as you can see the aesthetic of this guy is clearly better than Alicorn. If Al Alicorn looks like a tyrant over here then this guy just look like you know a squire or something. But the thing that keeps disturbing me about Alicorn will be the his arms in the alternate mode got sticking out like this but as for Gnaw here that is a really smooth and yeah I'm happy with Gnaw here and in some point I can say that Gnaw is better than Alicorn. So of course for the accessories I just showed you he can equip via plugging onto his arms you got the gun and you got the mace just plug them in like that and there we go and of course at this mode here you can still store the gun onto his back so I really I'm really glad that they designed to put the pin as the mag at the magazine so it's like it just makes the figure sort the weapon easier and one downside about this will be the fin of him. So he got this fin on the back. So of course you can remove it out. But then unfortunately you cannot put it onto the hands in some nice because this is curved and the hands got blocked by the toe I guess. So you can you can hold it like you can hold it like this, but like, that is not really nice. So I would normally put this onto the back and do not pay attention to it at all. Articulation. Begin with the head he he can look up not really and look down really down because of the transformation you got a full 360 rotation his arms can swing out like that and do a full rotation and you got a bicep swivel and you got a elbow bend 90 degrees basic over 90 degrees a little bit and you got no eye hands articulation due to the transformation you got no torso waist squiggle because of the way he's transformed and this is the kick to the front really high and kick to the back also really not high you got a split and that is quite limited because of the chucky torso section you got a thigh swivel and a really good knee bend due to the transformation and of course you can try to bend that so you can consider him to have a double jointed knee that works and you got a pivot articulation wise this guy is decent for his choppiness and I'm glad that he got such 
articulation. I would love to display him next to a lot of figures and do some poses to the 86 movies. And yeah, this sums up my review about Gnaw, the Transformers Studio Series 86 Deluxe Class. Gnaw, tell me what you think about this figure in the comment section below. And feel free to share and subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram. That is where most of my updates are being made. And also, if you feel like you could help me out with some future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee. Link will be in the description. Fun out.